You have an eight-year-old boy brought by his mom because he feels tired all the time, which means maybe anemia. On physical exam, there is yellow sclera, maybe jaundice. Pale face, anemia, big spleen, splenomegaly, which means maybe hemolytic anemia. Red blood cell count, how about this? This is low. Hemoglobin, this is low. Hematocrit, this is low. All of this means what? We have anemia. Retic count is high. This means hemolytic anemia with good bone marrow response. White blood cell, this is normal. Indirect bilirubin is high. Okay, could be again hemolytic anemia. Blood film shows spherocytes. Oh, this is a big deal. But the anti-globulin test or the Coombs test is negative, which means this is a hereditary spherocytosis and this is not autoimmune hemolytic anemia, for instance because autoimmune hemolytic anemia will have a positive Coombs test. So what's the most likely diagnosis? Of course, this is hereditary spherocytosis. Why not warm autoimmune hemolytic anemia? Because this will have a positive Coombs test. How about aplastic anemia? No, aplastic anemia will have pancytopenia, but here the white blood cell count is normal. Okay, next question. What should you do next? How about the sucrose hemolysis test? Okay, this is used in what? In paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, as you know. Schilling test is an archaic test for B12 deficiency. 12 deficiency will have neurological problems as well as maybe no spherocytes and also the indirect bilirubin will be normal. How about osmotic fragility test? Yes, this is the diagnosis or the diagnostic test of hereditary spherocytosis. See, medicine makes sense when you understand it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and please follow me on Facebook. I'm posting many questions on my Facebook page and I'll see you soon. Thank you.